Well, good morning, people. Welcome back to this little old channel and the grumpy old get in the corner. What we got today, then? Um, well, yeah, look at the state of the country now. We've got the three most powerful men in the UK, more or less, when it comes to power. And three of them are either Pakistani or Indian descent. Now, you tell me which way this country is going with everything that's going on. You've only got to look at the front bench in Parliament on the Tory side. But first of all, you've got this one. This one got into power, literally by being put there by his corrupt band of followers. <laughs> Not by the public vote. Then we have this one. Okay, not a politician, but he thinks he is. Now this one was voted in. Allegedly by the people of London. But personally, I don't believe that was a fair election. And I don't think the result would be the same if that election happened now. With the ways destroyed London. Just my opinion on that, by the way. And now we have this one. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> this one. Although the first one would be more uh, apt when you listen to this idiot and what he's got to say. Um, yeah, he's following in the same footsteps as uh, we cranky. And I don't think it will be any good for Scotland. He, he's a woman hater. He wants the independence referendum again, although the Scottish Parliament has been told no. I mean, that would be the absolute death of Scotland, um, in my opinion, if they went independent, because they just not would be able to for, support themselves. Europe have told them they don't want them. Um, they refused to accept the euro when Europe was going to welcome them. So they would be independent out there on their own no funding from us where would that get them now I know a few Scots and every one of them has said they do not want the SNP just pointing it out people but watch this space you know I'm not implying anything by this but just giving my opinions And then we get the sad news today. Paula Grady died suddenly, but peacefully in his sleep, as his husband said. Personally, I don't give a crap. Move on. <coughs> now, Rabid Rab has come out and said um, nothing is off the table when it comes to housing the hotel dwellers. Well, now is that his way of saying that they're going to waste even more millions on these people? We already know it's costing us over 10 million a day and it's going to keep costing us that because of the contracts, as I said in yesterday's video, with these hotel owners or groups. And they're still coming over. Don't see many leaving, but they're still coming over. It, it's like a game of, what shall we say? I was going to say hide the sausage end, but... <laughs> moving them around all the time doesn't hide them. Don't they realise that? There are people out there that will always find out what's going on. But one real sad one 
today. Um, it was all over the news yesterday. Was this shooting again at a school in America? Now, what does this tell you? These are young people that are go out and doing this. Why? You used to hear about the odd one, maybe an adult doing it, got a grievance with a school or somebody, or just totally fucked up in the head. But there is more and more kids doing this, or teenagers, I should say. Now, the main thing that everybody's talking about on it today was not the fact that there was teachers that lost their lives, not the fact that there was young children that lost their lives, which is always sad no matter what the circumstances, but the big thing they're making out of this was the fact that it was a young woman identifying as a man. What fucking difference does that make when somebody's lost their lives, especially kids? But it does show, as I've been trying to get across, just how fucked up the kids are nowadays. Okay, they have uh, readily access to uh, weapons in America. It's their law, it's their constitution. Personally, I think we should have the same here, but we don't, so we have to abide by that law. But, hey, what a sad day. But, um, yeah, I will leave it there for now. Fuck it. Um, I was up late last night watching um, a couple of very interesting live streams, shall I say. And uh, on my next live, um, there may be people getting booted. Um, I've actually got a list there that I've compiled. But there will be somebody going missing in action if they turn up on my channel. In fact, one or two of them. I don't like bringing that shit into here, but some points just need to be said. But anyway, I may do a live Friday afternoon, hopefully, if I feel up to it. I have got a fair bit on this week, but um, hopefully I will drop in for a few hours for those that want to join in you'll be more than welcome but until then as always thank you for your support my respects to each and every one of you for it and as i say stay strong wrong got it right so many fucking weeks stay safe stay strong don't let these bastards get inside your head. Respect people.